Richard Dix was a famous actor known for his lasting impact in the film industry. One of his most memorable works defined his career. What's your favorite memory or personal experience with this classic actor? Share your stories below. More interesting facts about him are coming up, so keep watching for more insights. During the golden age of Hollywood, Richard Dix was a standout figure, making a lasting impression on the silver screen. His strong presence and impressive talent captivated audiences, earning him respect among his fellow actors. He worked in the film industry for many years, delivering memorable performances that showed off his versatility and skill. Coming from humble beginnings, Dix's journey to fame showed his determination and love for acting. He climbed the ladder of success in the early days of cinema, gaining praise for his portrayals of interesting characters. Dix was important during his time. He was the typical leading man, smoothly shifting between roles like cowboys and refined gentlemen. His ability to become different characters with authenticity set him apart in a competitive era. Besides his acting, Dix was also innovative, pushing boundaries and breaking norms. His daring performances challenged society and inspired future actors. In celebrating Richard Dix, we recognize not just his role in movies, but also his influence as a pioneer. His impact went beyond the big screen, leaving a strong impression on audiences everywhere. Roger Moore's mom greatly admired Richard Dix, considering him one of the finest actors of his time. In The Ghost Ship, he played the role of Will Stone, the captain, as part of a deal with RKO for some lower-budget films. This move showed his versatility, letting audiences see his talent in different movie settings. But it was in Cimarron, where he portrayed Yancey Kravat, that Richard Dix truly captured audiences' hearts. The writer Edna Ferber crafted a story where Yancey was frequently away, evoking strong emotions from readers. Through the pages, we felt Yancey's adventures and the longing of his family when he was gone. His ability to play diverse roles left a lasting impression on audiences. His performances were more than just acting, they drew people into the stories, making them forget the actor and focus on the characters. Richard Dix's contribution to movies goes beyond the screen, shaping how we see and enjoy storytelling in film. In various instances, he effortlessly became different characters, each portrayal more compelling than the last. Through his nuanced performances, he transported audiences into the heart of the stories. His impact on cinema will always be remembered and celebrated. In conclusion, Richard Dix's talent will forever be remembered in film history. His ability to evoke emotions and create memorable characters solidifies his place among the greats of the silver screen. This tribute was Richard Dix portrayed Will Stone in The Ghost Ship. In the film, he played the role of the captain of MV Altair. Interestingly, his son, Robert Dix, starred in the movie Forbidden Planet in 1956, where an expedition is sent from Earth to a planet named Altair. Moreover, the daughter of the man on that planet is named Altera. He had a daughter named Martha Mary Ellen with Co. Despite being one of Hollywood's great silent stars, Richard Dix faced challenges in finding good roles as his career progressed. He made his film debut in 1921 and gained recognition with roles like the hero in the modern-day section of Demos, The Ten Commandments in 1923. Though he received an Oscar nomination for the early talkie Cimarron in 1931, he found it increasingly difficult to secure significant roles. However, the ghost ship marked a return to form for him, with his portrayal of the homicidal Captain Stone being one of the film's highlights. Richard Dix, recognized for his impactful acting, underwent significant changes throughout his career, adjusting to shifts in the film industry. Initially, he gained fame in silent films, where his expressive gestures and facial expressions were crucial in conveying emotions without words. As talkies became popular in the late 1920s, he smoothly transitioned, showing his adaptability by mastering the use of voice and dialogue. During the golden age of Hollywood in the 1930s, his acting style matured further. He became known for his versatility, effortlessly playing roles in various genres, from rugged cowboys to sophisticated businessmen. His skill at immersing himself in diverse characters resonated with audiences, making him a sought-after leading man. In the 1940s, as movies began to explore deeper narratives and psychological depth, he continued to refine his craft. He portrayed nuanced characters, delving into their inner conflicts and motivations with subtlety. This evolution in his acting style demonstrated his commitment to artistic growth and willingness to adapt to industry changes. 
Despite shifts in film trends, he remained a consistent presence, holding audiences' attention with his powerful screen presence and authentic performances. His lasting impact lies in his ability to evolve with the times while staying true to his craft. He made history as the first male actor to deliver an Oscar-nominated performance in a Best Picture winner with his portrayal in Cimarron. Following his role in the movie, he was laid to rest at Forest Lawn in Glendale Ka in the Whispering Pines section, specifically Lot 2387. His performance in Cimarron brought him widespread recognition. Later, he reunited with Irene Dunn, his co-star from Cimarron, in another film titled Stingery. Throughout his career, he left a lasting impression on the film industry, particularly with his groundbreaking performance in Cimarron. His work continues to be celebrated and remembered by audiences and critics alike. Richard Dix, famed for his portrayal of Yancey Kravat in Cimarron, delivered a performance that earned him an Oscar nomination, marking a significant milestone in his career. The film, along with The Free Soul, made history by being the first movie to receive nominations for two acting Oscars, with Dix nominated for Best Actor and Irene Dunn for Best Actress. In the classic Mel Brooks comedy Blazing Saddles, there's a memorable scene where the character Olson Johnson, played by David Huddleston, rallies the townspeople with a humorous reference to Richard Dix, adding to the film's humor, which is filled with similar nods and inside jokes showcasing its comedic influences. He also had a family life that included children Webster, Richard Jr., Robert, and Sarah Sue, whom he adopted. The mistaken identity of Richard Dix's name with Fort Dix led to one of the movie's most famous lines, contributing to its lasting popularity and solidifying Richard Dix's place in cinematic history. Richard Dix was famous for playing Yancey Kravat in Cimarron. That character was based on a real person named Temple Houston, who was Sam Houston's son. Dix also played Sam Houston in a movie called Man of Conquest. Sadly, in 1953, his son Richard Dix Jr. died in a logging accident in Ponderosa Ka. After his son's death, Dix struggled with drinking and had persistent hiccups while working on the Whistler series, but he still made a big impact in entertainment. Richard Dix brought the character Will Stone to life in The Ghost Ship, portraying a menacing ship captain. In the movie, he played the villain, leaving a strong impression on viewers. Alongside him, Lawrence Tierney took on the role of a sailor who challenges the captain's authority. Interestingly, fate connected the actors beyond the movie. Scott Brady, Tierney's brother, faced off against Robert Dix, Richard Dix's son, in another film. This continued the tradition of family clashes on screen. Such connections in movies add layers of interest as actors from different generations come together unexpectedly. The ghost ship shows how performances can have a lasting impact stretching beyond the movie itself. In Hollywood, these relationships among actors and their descendants create an interesting network. The movie serves as an example of how storytelling extends beyond a single narrative, showing the lasting nature of cinema and the connections between actors over time. And with that, we find ourselves at the end of this exploration, connected by the cinematic web.